do you start a fire? Like, I don't know, like rub two sticks together? Use a match? A lighter? It's not a, it's not a complicated process. I mean, if cavemen figured out how to start a fire, surely you can, chat. Yeah, use a flamethrower. Get a flame and vorfer? To vorf flames? Bathroom, you say. Bum, 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 bum. It's 21. Do you guys not go to bed at 21? What do you do? Why, why did you run to the bathroom and then run back to me and then the bathroom thing came up? What? All right, it is indeed bedtime. That's fine. We'll walk over here, get a nice view of this cliff, and go to bed. Camp it up! Camp it up! Jazz it up! Well, good night. Good night. I was thinking of drinking my Gatorade. What a weird camera angle this is. Alright. Now then. Now then. Hi guys. On, eat your meat. Eat Let's eat. I want to go get my chance at a Digi Rainbow Drop. Wait a minute, how many days has it been now? You're age five, you're age three. So you, uh, Gabumon Digivolves tomorrow and then Graumon Digivolves the day after? They should both Digivolve like back to back because they have a three day difference and you Digivolve the ultimate after three days. So they both should Digivolve tomorrow. Either early in the day or late at night. I'm not sure. Bum. Ba -da -dum. I wonder if the Vegemon over here still give max stats too. I'm amazed that you aggroed, to be honest. I did not think you would. Can you please stop getting slowed every single time? My goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's only 23 speed. That's only 23 speed. Honestly, that's good if they're almost done giving us the stuff because we need to go back to town. Please, just a single Digi Rainbow drop. Oh, come on. My Digi Rainbow drops, please. My fishing pond is very sick. I'm going to beat you up and then go back over to Rosemont's Palace and hope that the Vegemon there get more stats. Burn! Yeah, it's only plus 20 speed. These Vegemon might give a little less stat-wise than the ones at Rosemont's place, but it's more likely that we're just finally hitting the cap. They might cap out around 22, 2300. But honestly, that's still great getting that high. But we're going to want to try and fight Seedramon enough to get Gabumon to about 25, 2600, because that's about where Shoutmon was when he Digivolved. And Gabumon is supposed to get ahead. The right one is always supposed to be a little further on. Although, if they're about even, that's not really a bad thing. As long as they both surpass Ophanimon when they get Mega. Like, as long as when... Oh, yeah, that was still plus 26. Good, good, good. When they both get to Mega, I want both of them to, like, surpass Ophanimon is the only thing. They both need to be past 3,200. So, like, ideally 35 to 3,500 to 4,000, somewhere in that range. Hi, Vegemon. It's an inferno! Bum, 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 bum. Oh, we should get this Digi Ion Water, because every five Ion Water is one rainbow drop. Don't forget that. I think we can only trade Ion Water on Sundays, though. Is it Ion Water or was it Lightning Water? I think it was Ion Water. I don't know. Ion Water is still a high quality thing, so we should be able to trade it for either for Rainbow Drops or something that can become Rainbow Drops, ideally. Please hit. Inferno's range is so good. 
Oh, that only gave 23 speed. It maxes out at about 2,500. All right. We're still going to go for a little bit longer on these guys. It'll still be worth. Yeah, it's only plus 20 there. We've gotten Gabumon up to the 2200s, though, which is insane. I'd be shocked if you don't get close to 4k stats before hitting Mega. I don't think Gabumon might get up to 4k once he hits Mega. I don't think Growmon, when he gets Mega, will hit 4k, but I think he'll be like 3500 plus. I'm gonna like clear out Rosemon's palace, like all the Digimon here, and then we will uh, we will autopilot back to town, make our usual rounds at town, and then go to um, what you call it? Go fight the Seedramon. I want to fight the Seedramon for the rest of today. And then when today cycles, they should Digivolve tomorrow. We'll do the training hall the next in-game day just to get it to cycle to get them to Digivolve. Also because the, like, Growmon isn't getting, like, does he even get plus one to his stats when we beat the Vegemon? I don't even know. But we can get Growmon some good stat gains from doing the uh, training hall. Get him closer to 3k before he hits ultimate, ideally. He still gets, like, plus one to stamina, wisdom, and speed. Like, he gets very minor stat gains. It's something. Fight me, Vegemon. Fight me and die. For my amusement. Yeah. Speed is about to start being a single digit gain on these guys, so we definitely want to go to Seedramon now. Stay calm. We're about to go back to town. They're fine. This should kill. Oh, Exhaust Flame will kill. Goodbye. Growmon will get stats from Seedramon. You think he'll still get stats from Seedramon? I mean, he was still getting plus 26 as a Shoutmon when he Digivolved, so I wouldn't be shocked. I feel like the Seedramon probably kept out around 3k, though, don't they? So he probably won't get much stamina or speed, but he might he might still get some wisdom and strength. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Now then. I mean, I don't know when the Seedramon cap out. I just assume it's at about 3k. Hello. All right, we got to make our usual rounds because we haven't been here all day. The restaurant should be leveled up now. Whoop. Did the restaurant level up? Yeah, it did. That should be... Is that max level restaurant or is that level four? I don't remember. Either way, very worth. I think that might be max. Oh, I don't even want to look at the stonk market. It's probably awful. Bone ornament still going up. Scroll is staying steady. Rug is going up, but I mean, it was up at 1100 and then it immediately tanked awfully. Lithograph is going back up. Oh, come on, dude. And pot's going up again. Dude, come on, man. I just really want Bone Ornament to get up to, like, eight or 900, because it'll be so... Like, if I sold it now, how much would it give me? 57,000. That's that's a lot. That's an upgrade and then some. So if we can get up to, like, 800, we'll get over uh, 100k for it. Well, probably more around, like, uh... Probably not over 100k, but probably more around, like, 80, 90k. Hopefully. I just really want the rug and the scroll to go up, because they're the ones that give so much... Why'd I walk in here? That's not where I wanted to walk into. 
I wanted to look at the Digivolution Dojo to see if we're gonna, like, make Garurumon. Oh, yeah, you're already fixed for Garurumon now, too. That makes sense. It'll probably give us Garurumon then, but, I mean, there's always a chance it'll give us Garurumon Black or Seedramon. I'm just gonna leave them all open because I'm fine with any option. And look at that. We're not meeting the discipline requirement. We definitely didn't hit the training failure requirement, but Skull Greymon is still fixed, just like I said he'd be. So, I mean, I'll take either Skull Greymon or Black War or Growmon. I'm cool with either. Whatever we get is what we get. Let's go get our food. Let's check the builder. Need to go sell stuff at the item shop and fix the tent. Starwood. Five Digi Firewoods, also good, because we just, like, used all of those, so we need more of them. Digi Ion Waters, can't really be upset at that. That's pretty good, but I also really want Rainbow Water, please. Hello. I also really need Godwood. We have 53 Digi Ion Water. Is it Ion Water into Rainbow Water? It is Ion Water into Rainbow Water, just like I thought. Mercury into Ion Water. Oh, Rainbow... I thought Rainbow was the second highest one. Lightning Water is the second highest one. We have so much Lightning Water. Oh, my word. All right. I might end up trading some Digi Ion Water into Rainbow Water because, like, what do I even need Ion Water for? I think Gigimon's house needs, like, 30, but it's not that hard to get Ion Water. So I'm not super worried about it. I think that's, like, the only thing that still needs Ion Water, at least right now. Yeah, it needs lightning water. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably trade a lot of the ion water into rainbow drops then, because we need 70 of them, and they're very rare. Rainbow drops seems like one of the rarest materials in the game. There's nothing we can level up right now, huh? Doesn't look like there's really any way that I could try and trade stuff to try and get something. Like, everything is missing a good chunk of at least one rare item. We need another 50 firewood for the dojo, along with 20 more fell wood. We have 69 digilite, nice. Training hall is going to take forever to get all that blue digizoids. Oh, this is pretty close, actually. Oh, well, it needs 15 more diamonds, though. Alright, then. Oh, wait a minute, I've maxed more stuff. Do you have something for me? Hey there, you make those upgrades happen. If the number of completely upgraded buildings increases, I'll give you treasure. Upgrade your facilities more. I look forward to seeing what you do. Still? Really? Not enough? Thank you for the cheer, Kamakiku. Much appreciated. Give me my stuff. All right. Let's go over to the item shop, make some sales really quickly. How much time do we have left in stream? We got about 25 minutes. Got about 25 minutes in stream. Probably these 25 minutes are going to be spent dealing with the Seedramon, but that's fine. That means we will be pretty much good to go. We will be good to go on uh, on next stream. We should be getting them to uh, Ultimate and Mega pretty early and then get to uh, proceed the game. Good stuff. I would like it if we get them to ultimate and champion before today's stream ends. What do you send me on Fridays? Is Friday mod cape day? No, oh, faulty ex machina. No, thank you. Take me to mod cape. Oh, I think I forgot to fix the tent. It's fine. The tent is at like seven durability. Plus, it's already, like, 11 in games. So like, we're not going to be here super long. Well, I'm going to stream back. I am having fun, yes. Not quite as much fun as last stream, where we were making all that great progress. Because today has been a lot of grinding the new rebirths. But, uh, you know. You gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. How's my tamer level looking? Oh, wow, we're actually really close to Tamer level 43. I don't think we're going to get it before stream ends, but we'll definitely get it, like, early next stream. That's great. Because that, uh, that one takes a long while to get to. It needed, like, 15,000 experience or something. Oh, these guys don't even aggro. That's cool. Way to go! It's working! You 
Oh my goodness, this stunned immediately. Gobblemon, you're gonna have to put in a lot of effort for your stats now because, uh. Growlmon here is not gonna be able to do it all himself. Oh, how much damage? I wanted to see how much damage that did. Please, Buster, die. Thank you. Alright, that went incredibly well. That died way faster, I thought. Oh, next stream is gonna be great for progress. Next stream, we might, like. We're gonna be honest. Oh, no, they both aggroed. I thought only one would. Alright, uh, ice damage only does, like, 1500, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong. But it's less than I was expecting. That didn't work how I wanted. Gabumon does good damage, at least. Especially when he Buster dives. Please hit an Inferno. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Roast him. As long as we don't get into a fight with two of them, like I mistakenly did here, we'll, we should be fine fighting the Seedramon with Growlmon. It's just that I got into this fight which uh, with two at once, which was a mistake. Also, this platform really sucks because- Oh, I guarded with the wrong Digimon. This platform really sucks because, like, Growlmon keeps getting stuck and not able to hit the enemy. Like, he tried to Buster Dive there, and it literally wouldn't let him move at it. Yeah, Growlmon is still only getting plus one to every stat. I didn't think he'd be getting much at this point. You gotta remember, Lone Wolf, I bet you're thinking of the stats Seedramon would give if I was playing on normal mode. But I'm playing on hard mode. So because I'm on hard mode, I don't think he's gonna go over 3k from Seedramon. Hi, Seedramon. Bum, 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 bum. Good Buster dive, good Buster dive. Get him with another Inferno. Burn him up. Yeah, they die in like two or three Infernos. That's pretty good. I like Mod Cape's music. It's pretty good. It's a good track. Oh, this gives a lot of Digilight, right? I could go for some Digilight right about now. Five Digilight, I'll take it. Hungry. Time to eat. There you go. Yes. You okay? I do not want to have to use right? money on. Oh, come on. Stunned again? Dude, this Growlmon is absolutely awful about getting hit with status effects. They just hit him non stop. Right. It's insane. I really thought that would still be close enough. I don't want Growlmon to take so much damage that I have to bother healing him because I don't want to have to spend money. Although I still have some 5,000 HP recovery discs, and like I'm going to start buying the 20,000 ones from now on, so, you know, using those wouldn't really be a big deal because I don't really want to use them in combat anymore anyway. They made Mod Capes track this good because they knew people would be training against these Seedramon here. It's like the best training spot for everyone. Yeah. Pretty sure everyone who plays this game comes to this spot at some point to grind. Yeah, definitely. Seedramon really are just like among the best spots to grind. Especially late game. Because they can get your rookies and champions up to like 3k stats. Can you please stop staying so far away from the Seedramon? Just get up there and hit it with Inferno, please. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. Gabumon's already only getting plus 23 in speed. That's not a good sign. Well, he's getting to around 2,700. So, I, 27 to 2,800 is probably where it starts to cap pretty hard. Oh, Black Digizoid. Nice. Wow. I think I am going to need to do a quick rest hour. Their uh, fatigue is already up pretty high. Wonderful. Digi Bamboo, very good. We can trade that for firewood. That went great. 
Also got some snow wood there. Snow wood, I think, trades for bell wood? Or great wood? I think it trades for great wood, and you can get a lot of snow wood. Okay, from absolute around. zero. 